Hi, I'm Professor Mark Johnson, Director of the Center for Urban Environments, and welcome to Arendelle Park. At 90 acres, Arendelle Park is the largest green space in Mississauga, Canada's sixth largest city, the city just west of Toronto. Arendelle Park has been shaped by geological history for over 400 million years. It's been the home of First Nations communities for thousands of years and it was settled by Europeans nearly 200 years ago. The most prominent feature today is the Credit River that runs through the park, and the often steep cliffs that date back to the Ordovician over 400 million years ago, where you can see limestone, shale, and sandstone when this was a shallow sea near the equator. This area was under one to two kilometers of ice just 20,000 years ago. And 13,000 years ago, as those glaciers were retreating, this area that you see right here on the north side of Arendelle Park was the shoreline of Lake Iroquois. Near this site is also where an old hydroelectric dam stood from 1910 to 1923. Today, all that's left are the remnants of this dam, which was dismantled in 1940. At one time, the Credit River supported a large population of Atlantic salmon. Dams like this one and 60 other dams along the Credit River drove that population to extinction. Today, there are salmon living in this river again, but these are introduced salmon, such as these Pacific Chinook salmon, which migrate up the river every September and October. The river also plays home to rainbow trout and introduced steelhead and it's these stocked fish that have made the Credit River a favorite among many fishermen. I hope you have the opportunity to explore this magnificent treasure of Mississauga soon, to walk its trails and learn about its amazing flora and fauna, and to get to know Arendelle Park in all seasons.